What's going on today is Monday. Monday. As you guys know, every single Monday we come and we spit fire, we spit the truth, and with nothing but the truth. Baby. That's my boy, <laughs> Matt Dizzle, Shizzle, E Wizzle, E Crizzle, E Dizzle. You already know. My boy, right there. Today we're gonna talk about what obsession and drive and how to get yourself driven to get shit done yep. and 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 I've, I've, I've learned this a long time ago a lot of people think they're driven by certain things and they ask these kind of questions well mike how do i create urgency in the things that i'm doing and to create the success that i want to create or how do i get myself to be motivated or inspired and you have to be driven and obsessed about what you're doing and we're going to talk about how to actually get to that point and to figure out what actually drives you what doesn't and what to do with that drive because a lot of times people get offended because their family says, oh, you're too obsessed, or you're too this, you're too this. So we're going to talk about some of that as well, and uh, how to utilize that and put some gasoline on that fire, baby. Absolutely. And as you guys know, we spit fire and spit the truth, so this is my favorite topic. It's been a while since I've been on, bro. Yeah, you've been sick. You've just had a guest. I have been sick. I've had, I had some guests. You've been sick like a mullet. You know what I'm saying? But, but we uh, back. We made it happen. You know, we're back, we're back. Look at his chest. Look at his chest. He's, uh, he got. He went to the gym today. He feels a little. Now. He feels good. He was a man. He did a little hair, <laughs> little hair chest coming out. So let's talk about drive, right? So I hear a lot of people say, "Oh, I want to get a nice car, nice house, nice this and that." And they say that's what drives me. But in reality, if you really think about it, it doesn't fucking drive them. Yeah. It maybe motivates them for a day or two. It sounds cool. It sounds nice. But does it actually drive them? Right? Like, yeah. so if someone asks me, "How do you know when someone drives you?" Very simple. This is how you know when something drives you. You create massive action without thinking. Mm. So like, boom, you just go and you're driven. Like you have this, this, this crazy energy. You create massive action out of nowhere yeah. because you are driven. Yeah. And some of the, there's different ways to be driven. Like, listen, to have a nice car, you may be driven for that car. You may be driven for that kind of lifestyle. You may be driven by achievement. You may be driven by goals. You may be driven by helping people. You may be driven by inspiring you may be driven by some of those things, but you got to figure out what it truly is. Because a lot of people say, I'm driven by impacting people. Yeah. Really? How come when it comes to impacting people, you're not so driven? You're not putting the action. Yeah. So you got to really figure out. It may sound good. It sounds awesome to say, I love impacting people. I'll give you an example. I love helping people, mm -hmm. but it doesn't drive me. It just doesn't. Yeah. And money doesn't drive me either. Yeah. Because I don't care about like lifestyle, this and that. What do I do care? I am driven by being part of the 1%. Mm. Like... Everything I do, I, I, like, I think about everything that I do. Muay Thai, you know, uh, um, tactical training, the gym, business, everything, traveling, everything I do is about having a 1% one, 1 mindset and a 1% experience. Mm. It's about, like, how do I become the best in that thing? Like, I, uh, achieving mastery is what motivates me. Mm. Being different than everyone else is what drives me. So I figured out a long time ago, like, what drives me is not the money, the accolades. The, I don't care about the accolades. So like, guys, I'm wearing a pink shirt. I don't give a shit. <laughs> right? Like, I'm not wearing some fancy, fancy shit like them. You know, it's probably a shirt costs more than my whole house. But for me, it doesn't matter. I, that's not what drives me. Yeah. What drives me is... The, the, the competition, the, the competition between me and my future self, the, 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 the madness, the, the drive, the fire, the inside, to become the best, the mastery, that's what drives me. To be part of that 1% and not be like everyone else. If someone ever says you're like everyone else, it fucking makes me cringe. So would you say it's like correlated to your passion? When you figure out that drive, you take that and you turn it into something. You put it towards something that you're passionate about which is maybe helping people. Maybe you want to serve the community. But you have to be driven first. So the drive comes first, in my opinion. Then the, the, uh, the passion, right? Yeah. Well, actually, sorry. The drive, then the action, and then the passion, Got my it. opinion. And so think, drive, action, passion. And you think someone can be driven by, like, their scenario in life? Because I feel like... You can, you temporarily. You maybe had a similar scenario to where you feel like, bro, you need a... You got, like, a fire under your ass because... If you didn't do anything, you're going to stay stuck in your situation, which your upcoming was Yeah, like you're, you're going to be motivated by pain or pleasure. That's 100% going to happen. But yeah. I think that once you know what drives you, you yeah. create, like, you just move, bro. Like, yeah. you got to think about it this way. If you wake up in the morning and you don't want to wake up, you don't want to go to the gym, you don't want to go work, that means you're not driven that day or that month, that, that year. Yeah. Why? Because you have no idea what it is you're trying to chase in your life. Mm. But when you know what, you're, what, what drives you, you take that gasoline and you pour it on that fucking fire. So I know what drives me. When I wake up in the morning, like I woke up this morning, I'm telling you I did not want to go to the gym. Yeah. It's almost every day. But I know that because I don't want to go to the gym, I have to go to the gym because that's what a one percenter does. So I remind, like, oh shit, one percenter, what would he do? David Goggins mentality. Like, so to me, it's like because I identify, right? You guys identify as X, Ys, and Zs. I identify as a one percenter, yeah. okay? Because I identify and my identity is attached to being a one percenter, I always do what a one percenter does. 
which is the things that I don't like to do, the, the things I don't want to do. I don't want to go to, like last night, I don't want to go to Muay Thai and spar. I don't yeah. want to get fucking beat in the face. But guess what? We did it. Yeah. And it was fucking amazing. I'm actually glad I went because we learned a lot of new techniques yesterday, right? Yeah. So it's always about, for me, to be part of that 1% group. How do I get myself to that 1%? This may not be you, by the way. Yeah. But you gotta Everybody's figure out different. everyone's different. You gotta figure yeah. out what drives you. If what I'm saying right now is like, yo, this is going over <laughs> my head, it's not for you. Yeah. But there's somebody that are watching and it's like, oh, that's fucking me. Then that's you. There might be someone of you that might be excited about getting a nice car and that really fucking drives you. Like driving in yeah. a nice car is what drives you to the point where listen, everybody wants a nice car, but it drives you to the point where you're willing to like, like do anything to get that nice car. Yeah. Like you have to have people. You want people to see your status. Yeah. You need them to see it. Like, it fucking irks you when you're driving in a beat-up fucking car. Yeah. For me, I was driving a beat-up Acura, and I was fucking making a lot of fucking money. I didn't care. Yeah. I had a beat-up Audi. I didn't give a fuck. Yeah. But some people, it kills them to not have a nice car and a nice place and show off their money and show off their lifestyle. That may be what motivates you. I yeah. don't know. So you got to figure out what drives you. Exactly. So I, I, I feel like, or I think, then drive is, cor is like, directly correlated to vision because... It seems like when you lack vision or lack clarity in, for anything in, in the you future, need that, yeah. then that's where like you have no idea what to do. You have no drive, no nothing, no motivation for life. So would you say like then like clear is, and concise? It's like find the vision, find the, the like have the mental picture of what is it you want to do, find what you like, and then – I give you an example. I give you an example. Right now, we're building a call center. I'm gonna make a YouTube actually, a YouTube video actually after this, uh, where we're gonna talk about the actual process. Like I've never recorded the actual process of me building certain businesses. Like, and I wish, like, looking back, and I'm, I'm like, I wish I would have had like a video camera guy, like, like you, literally walking around with me day to day and taking all the recordings of all the shit that I did to get to where I got to. Right. Yeah. So now I'm building a new call center. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna start doing that. Start talking about it on YouTube and talk about my weekly wins, weekly losses, yeah. so I can share it with the world. Like, I don't give a shit. It, right and you could use it for your business um because i and by the way a lot of this stuff that i'm talking about 90 percent of the time it's for me <laughs> like this is to remind me of the things that i need to do for myself yeah like i've had i've had some slumps in my life and i've had some days when i'm fucking just don't want to do shit so i gotta remind myself what am i driven for what am i doing this for why am i doing this yeah. and the second i figure out boom the, the excitement kicks in when the excitement kicks in action kicks in when the action kicks in what what happens then Passion kicks in. Yeah. Because you become passionate through the process. Not You don't become passionate and then you find the drive. No, no. You find oh, the yeah. drive, then you create the massive action, and then by having the massive action, you create the passion. Yeah. And then the emotions of, oh my God, I feel so amazing comes after. Yeah. So it's... You have to take action. For yeah. So, for so, sure. so, so it's, it's, it's drive, then action, right? Massive action. Then it's passion, and then it's emotion. It's a great YouTube video, right? Yeah. But, that, but that's pretty much how it, how it works out. So, so I've, I've learned, this is what I've learned. You got to figure out what drives you. Yeah. Once you can figure, everyone wants to figure out their dreams and goals and this and that. That's awesome. Yeah. Find out how you get driven. For me, if you say I can't do something, it drives me. Yeah. I think you have to like find your why. That's what, what you're saying right now. That's what I'm thinking about. Find your why is the too. dream, the goal, the aspirations you want. Yeah. But find but out why you want the why. <laughs> you understand? Why you want the why? Why do you want the why? Nobody talks about that. They don't talk about the why. I, my why is X, Y. Okay, fine, but how do I get there? How do I drive myself to that why? Mm. Figure out why you want the why. If you can figure out the why you want the why, mm. ooh, then you really go, go, are going deep. Think about it. Well, okay, someone may say, I want to be an NBA player. Let's okay. say that's what you want to do. Great. Yeah. Why? Why do you want to be an NBA player? Because I want to prove to my dad because he told me I was not going to be anything. Or because I never got picked on in, in high school, nobody ever picked, never, no one ever picked me for the t top five, uh, for five on five. I was yeah. always the last person to get picked. Okay. Drove me crazy. Yeah. Or you want to be an NBA player because you genuinely love basketball so much. You love the actions. You love the shots. You love the, 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 the you know, whatever maybe. You got to figure out why. Why do you want the why? When you can figure out why you want the why, then you could take gasoline and pour it on your fucking why to get the fucking why. Mm. You understand? Yeah, so yeah, many yeah. people, they figure out, oh yeah. First of all, a lot of people don't even know their why. That's a big problem. That's a huge thing. But let's say you do find your why. A lot of people know their why. Successful people know their why, yeah. but they still cannot figure out why they're not getting it because you don't know what the why behind the why. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a lot of whys going on, but <laughs> don't why me. <laughs> yeah. I think the why is something you can always fall back on because um, that's something that – the thing is when you start building something, there's so many times you can get lost in the sauce, and I'm sure you can recall that in moments for you. You start building things. You start working out things, but then – it takes so much time to get result sometimes, or it takes 
you know, obviously it takes time to build things and you forget your why. You forget what drove you in the beginning. So I think because you get you get you get bombarded with obstacles that come in the way, like obstacles, everything. People telling you their opinion. People telling you their opinion. Obstacles. Things don't go as fast as you want them to go. Yeah. Because I learned this: if you expect the business to grow in six months, double that shit. It's gonna be a year. If you expect the business to grow in two years, double it. Make it four years. Like everything you expect, just double it. And, and, and you know what it does? It does. It, it helps you with the expectations of not taking a fucking punch in the face and being okay with it. Like it's okay. Yeah. Like, I expect that X, Y, Z to happen. It didn't happen. Guess what? I kept going and going and going. But if you just expect that, okay, it's going to happen twice. It's going to happen twice as long mm. and twice as hard. That's tough, man. <laughs> no, no. But it's the truth. But it's the truth. Yeah. I've always stuck through things because of that mindset. I'm like, if someone says it takes six months to get something, like, for example, everyone says you need to get, you can get abs in how many days? How many days can you get abs in? If you right now, how many, how Me, many? It's yeah. going to take, take like, <laughs> like four more months. Are you fat? Four yeah, months. I have okay, five. perfect. It will take you eight months. And I'll probably be harder than you think. Mm. It took me, I thought it was going to take me like, I don't know, two, three months? No, it took me, I thought it was going to take me like a month and a half, like a month? It took yeah. me like two and a half months to really get it defined and shit. Yeah. Right? And how did I do that? Fucking hard as shit, bro. Not eating yeah. this. I literally haven't eaten bread in God knows how long. <laughs> I had a burger the other day, yeah, yeah, two yeah. weeks ago. That was my first cheat meal in a month and a half. Yeah. First cheat meal. Yeah. People are cheating every fucking day. I'm a fucking cheat meal in a month and a half. Me. <laughs> no, but I, I've, I've said, I, you know what I realized? What oh, helped no, me I'm with just... that? I say yes to 30 day of abs versus yes to a 15 minute conversation with that fucking burger. Think about that. I say yes to 30 days of abs because that last, the pleasure of abs lasts longer than the pleasure of 15 minutes eating that burger. Yeah. See the difference? Most people like, it's right in front of them, but I don't look at it that way. I'm like 15 minutes burger, 30 minutes abs. Fuck it. Doing this. Yeah, not everybody has that discipline, though. You know what I mean? Has that, like, mindset. You know what discipline, the root of discipline, you know where it comes from? Disciple. Yeah. To learn. Okay. So discipline is about learning. You learn about yourself when you're in mm. discipline. That's what discipline is about. Gotcha. The Latin word is disciple, right? So discipline, you learn so much about yourself when you're in discipline mode. Absolutely. And that's what discipline is the best teacher on the planet, in my opinion. Absolutely. Brother. That's why I said my kids are going to be running around with shovels because I want them to learn <laughs> the aspect of discipline, Damn. right? It's yeah. it helped me so much, man. Like, I, I, I feel so grateful that I've learned discipline. Like, I can go anywhere in the world and work my dick off and work my ass off with, with, with my mindset. Mindset, work ethic, just go out there and fucking crush. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it, it feels good knowing that you can do it. It's kind of like someone that has, you know, a background in mixed martial arts. Yeah. They know that anywhere in the world they go, if someone puts their hands on them, they're fucking, they're fucking shit up. Yeah. Right. Or someone that's, you know, good with guns. So yeah. that's why I love doing those things, too, because, you know, you got to create discipline for that. Um, but, yeah, everything, everything, in my opinion, when it comes to discipline, you know, is, you know, the discipline only happens once you figure out the drive. Yeah. Like, uh, what is the pr- like? I give you an example. You want to get abs. Why? For me? Oh, no, no, no. For, for, for you don't want it. No, no, I want abs. But no, not you for don't. You, you don't no, want abs. I want abs. No, you don't. I do want abs. No, nope, if you that's want. Why it, I'm disciplined right now. OK, but how long have you been disciplined? That's my point. I mean, that's my point. That's my point. That's my point. I like, mean, you go through ups and downs, bro. The obstacles hey, we were talking about. So, hey, hey, hey man. If you were, hey, if you knew I your drive. I changed my life in like six months and then, you know, shit happens. You were fat? I was fat. <laughs> and I still am fat. I'm like skinny fat at this no, point. No, no, you're not, you're not fat. Listen, yeah, let me I say got this. some muscle, say, First, you look good. But okay. I just want to say this. The reason why you don't have abs, because this ain't the reason I didn't have abs for a couple of years. Because I didn't want it. As bad as I said I wanted it. I wanted the burger more than I wanted the abs. You wanted the satisfaction of the burger more than you want the abs. Maybe. The abs sound cool. <laughs> true or not true? Yeah. The yeah. abs sound cool. But when you fucking need it, when you know the why behind the why, like you want to get abs because you want to look good in the beach because you want to get a girl. Bro, the second I became single, I was like, fuck that. I want abs. <laughs> like it became a bigger reason. And yeah. when you figure out the bigger reason, I was like, fuck it. I can do it. The thing is like the instant pleasures in life are like, it's like cocaine, bro. Like you could be super disciplined, super, yeah, I want it. And then just takes one taste. Well, that's why you don't what? hang out with that shit, bro. <laughs> if you don't hang out with girls, can you have sex? No. No. If you don't hang out with motherfuckers that do drugs, can you do drugs? No. If you're not around alcohol, can you drink alcohol? No. So don't put yourself in environments where you can be fucking trapped. Yeah. I, I mean, do this for a second. For example, I go to someone's house, I see all kinds of shit. Cookies and chips and shit. No wonder you're fat because you literally buy it and then put it oh, on the yeah, fucking yeah. counter. That's the worst. You come to my house, it's protein chips, protein bars. Same. And water, bro. Same. And maybe, maybe green iced tea. Green, no no sugar. I love that shit. Yeah. What is that called? Arizona. <laughs> Arizona's okay, still charging a dollar for that shit. My <laughs> boys, right? But yeah, think yeah. about that. Why? 
because I understand. My drive, I'm driven by a specific dream that I have to look a certain way, which I feel like I'm, I've, I've, I've accomplished a lot of great things in my life when it comes yeah. to my, my body, as you can see, you know? Yeah. Woo, I see my little, ooh, I see myself, right? But I'm proud of myself yeah, yeah. because I was 110, 115 pounds, skinny little boy at 17 years old, 5'9". Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. there was a dream to become bigger. And yeah. now, you know, I'm 160 plus pounds, solid fucking muscle. I'm like, I'm like 10% body fat and it fucking feels great. Yeah. I literally just checked the other day, 10 point something percent body fat. I was sending it to my brother. Crazy, bro. Yeah. Think about it. I got 16 pounds of fat on my body only. Yeah. That's good, man. Yeah, it's choosing that hard today. For, yeah, I don't want to say easier later because shit's always, you know, it's, tough it's gonna, and you have to level up. And choose just, the hard today. You get stronger. That doesn't mean things get easier. You, you want to hear something crazy? Choose so. the hard today or choose the hard with interest later on. Exactly. Choose the hard today or choose the hard with interest yeah. later on. It's going to be with interest. You're going to pay yeah. for that shit. And like we were saying, you just got to be obsessed about it, right? I mean, whatever Are it is. Are you obsessed enough to make it happen? That's the question you got to ask yourself. And if you're not, make it happen, right? If you're not obsessed, make it happen. So hopefully this got this, this, this excited you guys to learn a little bit how to drive yourself. Uh, and I'll be honest with you. I'm going to actually ask this. If someone is hating on you because you're becoming obsessed, because you're being driven, that's very true. You're going to get a lot of haters for that. Snippity snip. That's a sign that you're doing the right thing. Yeah. When somebody tells you bullshit, it's the right thing, man. Yeah. I think when you're on the right path, people are going to, you know, even close friends and family, but people are going to look at you funny. People are going to think you're crazy. And people ask you questions. Why are you working so hard? Why are you working so late? Why are you always doing this? What's the point? Yeah, Why not just bro. settle? Why not just relax? I've been seeing a lot of that lately. <laughs> like, there's so many successful people that... That, you know, their family was like, what are you doing? You know, I've been seeing so many, like, these random stories on reels and, and different people that I look up to, you know? And it's like, they all have this side of them or this story where they quit their job. They did whatever to per, to pursue the thing that drives them, that they're super passionate about. And, and their family is like, what are you doing? They wanted to, you know, basically kill them. Like, this is the worst decision you ever made. And shoot, if they never did that, they wouldn't have made it. I mean, i would be honest with you. Listen, I don't give a crap what others think of what I'm doing. Yeah, not because yeah. I don't like them, not because I don't respect them, but because I understand that their thinking is not going to help me get my why. Yeah. And their thinking is amazing for them, but it's not amazing for me. Yeah. And I live for me, bro. Oh, yeah. I literally live for me. And I look at it as signs. When someone says to me like, oh, why are you working so hard? Perfect. Yeah. Because you don't fucking work as hard. I just posted a video this morning, okay? Yeah. People, lazy people, they work hard, oh, yeah, right? I saw, I saw In their minds, story, yeah. they work hard and they expect this massive reward, yeah. right? Successful people, they fucking work hard like a dog. Yeah. And they still question if they're lazy or not. Yeah. And that is the mindset of the one percenter. Yeah. Right? Uh, what's that guy's name? Relentless. I forget his name. Tim Grover talks about it. Okay. Are you a uh, are you a uh, what's the word again? Are you a closer? Are you a uh, cleaner? Something I, I forget the three terms he has, but are you a cleaner is the question. Yeah. Right? There's a regular person, closer and cleaner, right? Um I forget what damn fucking I lost. I, I remember that that thing he talked about. But he talks yeah. about us, the one percenters don't talk about themselves being the one percenters. Yeah. You cannot walk in a room and say I'm a one percenter. Yeah. Like people gotta say that about you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but you gotta be, become that one percenter. Yeah. Like Kobe Bryant didn't believe he was the best. Yeah. Right? He always wanted to become the best, and because he thought he was not the best, he became the best by default. Yeah. I have another question for you now. Now sure. we're talking about this, it got me thinking. Like, oh yeah, cooler, closer, <laughs> cleaner. There you go. Okay. What do you think about like self respect? Do you think a lot of people's issues, they don't have self-respect for themselves, which is why they don't get this stuff done, why they don't do the stuff they have to do. In my perspective, right? self I, I feel like choosing the not hard thing to do or choosing the lazy way, eating what you're not supposed to, or whatever the case is in your situation. I'll tell you what it is. Lack of respect I think I think a lot of yourself. people they don't they don't they're not hard on themselves. I'm very hard on myself. Like <clears throat> you do not want to see me behind closed doors. It looks like I'm fighting demons, bro. By myself, bro, I'm like, no, I'm not doing this, and that's it. I don't give a fuck, or I'm doing this, right? Yeah. I have these 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 conversations in my head and my thought process. I don't let weakness kick in, and I'm fucking this tough motherfucker. Like, I just know that I, I wish I would have been part of like some kind of like Navy SEAL or anything. I know I could have made it. Yeah. I know because I just know my 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 ferocity, my 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 fucking fire inside of me. Because what makes people win in these fucking programs is not strength. It's mental fortitude. It's mental strength, testicular fucking strength in your balls to your fucking brain to fucking shove and to go through emotional pain. That's what it is. Mm. Like, I'm, I, I give you an example. I'm in Muay Thai a lot of times, right? And the, the sensei is like, oh, yeah, let's do, you know, jumping jacks for 30 jumping jacks. Boom, boom, 
boom, boom, boom, boom, boom, boom, boom. 30 squats, boom, 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 boom. And I see people half ass on the squats. So they make you work out, do regular workouts there. Right before, just, oh, okay. warm up. Like warm up. Okay. Yeah, so then I'm doing the squats, but I, I'm doing it like I'm full fucking rep. Like I'm trying to do it the right way. Yeah. I see people half ass on it, they're getting tired or whatever. 30 push ups, right? So it's 30 fucking uh, jumping jacks, 30 uh, uh, squats right away, and then 30 push ups right away, and then 30 sit ups right away. Yeah. Two times. And then you got to do shadow boxing. Sheesh. So, you know, and it it, it puts you, you're, you're sweating by the yeah, end yeah, of that you're shit. Already. You're fucking like, whoo, you're yeah. getting ready, bro. Like your whole body. And I see some people have ass in it. And I see them like do fake push ups or half push ups. And then, like, once they stop counting, they go back to whatever the, everyone else is doing. No, yeah. not me. If I missed, like, sometimes I get to the ground to do push ups before everyone else did it, right? Or I did it, everyone's already on push ups and I missed a few push ups, I still count to 30. Because I told myself I'm doing 30. Yeah. So I don't stop at 27 and go back to whatever class is doing. I'm going to finish that fucking 30 and then get up and do whatever the next thing is. Mm. Because to me, it's not a battle between me and everyone else. I'm not trying to do it because the sensei told me. Yeah. I'm doing it for me. It's my battle. Yeah. I'm ducking. I said I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah. So it's, it's a, it's a, the dojo for me is a place for me to battle myself yeah. and beat myself yeah. and prove to myself that I am the fucking person in charge, not the fucking, you know, the, the weak mic. Because there's a battle between the strong mic and the weak mic every fucking day. And I'm fighting that every day. I'm like, no, 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 motherfucker. I tell you how shit gets done. Mm. And when you do that, you become stronger and stronger to respect yourself. And then yeah. that little voice, that's the weak voice, just dies out because he ain't he got nowhere to go. Yeah. So that's how you do it. You fight those demons. You fight those little voices. And there is times, like, I always scream in the fucking gym. You'll hear me screaming, you don't know me, son. You don't know me, son. Right? Why do I say that? Because, and people hear that. When they hear that, everyone's laughing. But they, now they know it's kind of like my thing now. Mm. When I get tired, I don't say I'm tired. I said, they don't know me, son. And I'm still fucking punching, kicking. I'm almost dying. There was one time I almost fainted. I'm wheezing. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I, I can't fucking breathe. I'm like, take yeah. it easy. I'm like, no, man. Like, I made a commitment. This is a commitment, right? That's how you got to fight your life. That's how I look at life to me. Mm. It's pushing yourself to the limits that you thought could not be beaten, but you can beat them. Mm. You beat those limits. And now I'm not wheezing because I beat that level. Now I'm at the next level, next level. And that's you get better and better and better. So that's all about drive. Obsession. Yeah. That's all about, you know, creating massive action. That's all about passion and then getting the results and the emotions that you want. Yeah. So anyway, we appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting us. We're growing right now on our channels. We love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. So do me a favor, subscribe and share this with someone. And we'll see you guys in the next video.